determine the force develops in members FE, EB, and BC of the thrust shown and state if it is tension or compression. So, yung gagamitin natin method dito sa uh, thrust na ito para ma-identify yung mga force members ay uh, method subjoint. So, it's up to you kung anong method yung gagamitin nyo and same lang yung uh, mga value ng force member na ma-susolve natin if gagamitin nyo yung methods of uh, methods of section. So, for today, gagamitin natin yung methods of joint. So, yung pinaka-simply or pinaka-first step natin gagawin is to identify the uh, reaction between two uh, reactions or support reactions. So, sa A, meron tayong pin and sa point D, meron tayong roller. So, i-draw muna natin yung mga, yung mga re reaction ng dalawang support. So, ito yung mga uh, reaction ng dalawang support. So, sa hinge, meron tong two component, horizontal at vertical, and sa roller, uh, perpendicular sa surface. So, uh, we can solve this using summation moments of uh, either A or D. So, pili natin yung summation moment A equals 0. So, assuming na yung uh, clockwise ay positive or counterclockwise ay positive. So, meron tayong dy. Then, yung distance nyo to point A, which we have 2, plus 1.5, plus 2, which is 5.5. Then, 22 kN, yung rotation nyo to point A is uh, clockwise. So, yung condition natin is counterclockwise ay positive. Therefore, minus 22 times yung distance nyo to point A, which is 1.5 plus 2, 3.5. And lastly, meron tayong 11 kN, times yung distance nyo na 2 equals 0. So, simplify natin ito, dy times 5.5 is ito, magiging 77 to minus 22 equals 0. So, i-move natin ito sa kabila para maging positive. So, dy 5.5 equals, add lang natin, 99. So, divide both side by 5.5 dy natin ay may value na 18 kilo newton. So, ito na yung dy natin. Pwede natin sulat dito. 18 kilo newton. So, erase muna natin ito. So, yung next step para ma-identify ang AY na reaction natin is summation vertical force. So, meron tayo yung, uh, yung mga arrow going upward ay positive at yung mga arrow going downward is negative. So, meron tayong AY plus dy minus 11 minus 22 equals 0. So, meron natin yung dy. So, plug din natin yan. So, 18. Ito, minus 33 equals 0. So, yung ay natin is uh, equal to, ito, maging negative 15. So, yung ay natin is, move natin sa kabila, 15 kN. So, positive meaning, going apart. So, substitute natin yan. Or, lagay natin yung value. Ayan. So, ito na yung ay at dy natin yung reaction. How about yung AX natin? So, pwede na natin ito uh, matahin na yung AX natin is 0. Kasi, wala naman tayong given na horizontal na force aside from this vertical na 2. So, therefore, pag walang, uh, pag walang uh, horizontal na force na applied sa thrust na ito, yung AX natin or uh, reaction ng hinge horizontally is 0. So, meron tayong dalawang uh, reaction which is AY going up and DY going up. So now, balik na tayo sa problem. Kailangan natin ma-solve yung mga members FE, EB, and BC. So yung uh, pinaka unang uh, joint na pupuntahan natin is sa point A kasi dalawa lang yung members niya which is AF and AB. Kasi pag dumiretsyo agad kayo sa AB, maraming unknowns. So meron tayong apat. So one, two, three, and four. So kung ako sa inyo, dito kayo mag-uumpisa or dito. So standard dito talaga yung pinakauna. So draw natin yung uh, joint ng A dito. So ito na yung uh, free body diagram natin sa joint A. So yung AY natin is going upward just like this and uh, passing through joint A. Kaya ito yung approach niya. And yung AF natin, since hindi natin alam yung uh, uh, approach na either compression or tension, mag assumption tayo na yung AF is tension. So, yung tension by the way, yung arrow niya is away from the joint. So, kung compression yan, uh, yung arrowhead niya is uh, patungo dito sa joint A na tulog. So, is tension, dalawang AB, uh, dalawang tension AF at AB. 
So now, pwede na natin masolve yung AF using summation vertical force since given na yung AY natin. So plug in natin. So ito na yung uh, mga uh, value. So nag-wonder ko yung bakit sign 45 but hindi uh, 2, 2, tsaka 2. So pwede natin yun masolve yung angle. So since yung 2 natin is ito or ito and yung 2 natin is dito. So pwede natin substitute yan sa uh, tangent theta is equals to Ano yung formula ng tangent theta? Diba? Opposite over adjacent. So, yung opposite natin is 2 over adjacent na 2. So, yung theta natin is tangent, inverse tangent of 1 or theta equals 45. So, meaning, pwede natin ito ma-replace ng 45. So, ayan. 45 na siya. So, yung y component yun is sine 45. So, balik tayo sa problem. So, ito na nga yung uh, mga value niya. So, pwede natin masolve yung AF. Imove lang natin yan sa kabila. Ito na yung value ng AF natin, 21.21 kN. So, since negative siya, so meaning yung uh, assumption natin na tension yung AF is wrong. So, hindi naman literally na wrong. Yung wrong lang is yung approach niya. So, pwede nyo natin i-replace na compression yung AF natin and not tension. So, by that, pwede na natin tanggalin yung negative. And then, yung AF natin is 21.21. So, dito muna natin isulat kilo newton. So, once na may value na tayo ng AF, pwede na natin masolve ang uh, summation of uh, X component. So, ito, din diniretso ko lang yung compression na arrow sign. So, tatago siya dito, and yung 45 is, yung reflection niya dito is 45. So, therefore, yung X component natin is AB, which is positive, minus yung AF natin, or 21.21, then X component, cosine 45. So, yung AB natin is equals to 21.21 o sin 45. Positive na kasi nilipat natin. Offside equals sin. And yung AB natin ay may value na approximately 15 kN. So, sulat natin dito. So, since positive siya, meaning sakto yung approach ng arrow. So, lagyan natin itong tension. At ito kanina is compression. So, huwag nyo kalimutang i-label para uh, hindi kayo malito sa mga force member. So, next, since nasolve na natin yung mga force member AF at AB, so, tapos na tayo sa joint A. So, so now, ito na tayo sa joint F. So, yung uh, AF natin, or ito is uh, compression. So, sa joint A, compression siya. Therefore, sa joint F is compression din siya. So, yung angle niyan is, so, dito, 45 Therefore, dito sa taas is 45 din. And yung alternate niya is 45. So, summation f of y equals 0. So, meron tayo yung af. Then, y component sine 45. And it is equal to fb. So, yung fb natin is equal to af natin. Ito, 21.21 sine 45. FB natin is equals to approximately 15 kN. So, since positive naman siya, and yung arrow is away from the joint, therefore, yung FB natin is 15 kN tension. So, next is summation F of X para masolve yung FE equals 0. So, meron tayong FE. Then, plus AF na 21.21. Yung X component ng AF is uh, cosine 45 equals 0 so yung Fe natin is equals to negative 15 then kN or Fe is equals to 15 kN and yung assumption natin sa Fe na uh, tension therefore mali yung direction but yung magnitude ay the same lang yung approach lang yung mali so from, from tension naging compression so, yung Fe natin is equals to 15 kN compression. So, meron na tayong uh, sagot sa isang problem. So, di ba missing yung Fe? Ito na yung isang uh, uh, force number na hinahanap. So, meron pa tayong dalawa which is EB and BC. So, in this uh, figure, tapos na tayo sa joint F na determine natin yung value ng Fe at Fb. So, proceed tayo sa joint B. So now, uh, ito na yung joint B natin. So meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 na force members. So pwede natin i-translate dito. 
and applying yung mga condition yung FB natin is tension which is away from joint B yung BE natin is di natin alam assumption natin is uh, also tension yung BC di rin natin alam so ito yung dalawa na nasa problem so assumption lang yung dalawang to na tension we have 11 kN ito yun yung AB natin na tension so therefore away from the joint AB so proceed tayo sa summation F of Y para malit malaman natin yung value ng BE so we have FB or 15 kN plus BE natin then Y component 2 over 2.5 so saan nanggalin yung 2 at 2.5 so dito na tayo sa uh, joint B so ito is different from this uh, uh, measurement so dito 2 yung uh, yung ating uh, base ng triangle at dito naman sa from joint B to joint C meron tayong 1.5 so therefore magkakaiba yung angle nito so dito is 45 at ito is 45 therefore dito is uh, not 45 so para ma-determine ang value ng angle nito therefore uh, pwede natin yung mga ano ng tangent is equals to opposite na 2 over uh, adjacent na 1.5 so it is 53 point something pero mas prefer ko na ganito para masanay tayo so y component to 2 at square root 2 or uh, over 2.5 so now uh, yung natitira na lang is 11 equals 0 so pwede natin tamasol so 15 minus 11 is 4 then transpose sa kabila magiging negative 4 so BE times 2, 2.5. Then multiply natin both sides by reciprocal. So 2.5 over 2. 2.5 over 2. So yung BE natin is equals to uh, negative 5 kN. So since negative, yung BE natin is not a tension but rather compression. 5 kN compression. So yung BE natin so 5 kN compression so isa na lang yung kulang which is yung BC so erase muna natin so summation f of x equals 0 meron tayong uh, BC which is yung unknown minus AB na 15 kN or simply 15 sige dyan na lang then ito kung dadiretsuhin natin then ito is uh, also ito is 1.5 ito ay 2 so, ito is 2.5. So, x component. So, meron tayo BE na 5. So, minus 5 kasi nasa left side siya. Then, x component 1.5 over hypotenuse na 2.5. So, wala na. So, equal 0. So, yung BC natin, simplify. This equals, or oh, this would be uh, negative 15. Then, ito uh, magiging giging negative 3 plus 0 so BC is equal to 18 kN so positive therefore yung assumption natin na tension is tension din talaga kN tension so ito na yung mga tatlong force member na hinahanap natin sa problem